something. Carly, is that you? invitation to our exclusive tea party. Are you crazy? What the... That's debatable, but who can judge? Am I, Lewis, more mad than you? You're the one who claims to be sane, yet factualizes fictional characters in his dining room. But what I can distinguish is that I like this powdered treat. Away with you two! How did you get into my house? And Who's she? I entered through the rabbit's hole, and this would be a girl. A fine looking one, if I may add. Well, I don't care about her, or you for that matter, all the dumb shit that led you. How to... dare you talk about him in vain! You're not worth the pickles and dimes you're made of. Luckily for you, he wants you alive. Or else I would have let the Tweedles see what an actual's insides look like. Filthy, just filthy. Move down, move down, move down. Too gay for me to say that you're the prettiest of them all. What? Hey, Louis, you gotta set me free. Shouldn't I Puss be watching you? No, no. She's entertaining Tweedledee, yeah. <laughs> if you don't believe me, ask him. Quick, we're gonna miss the show. Come on, idiot. The boss wants to see him upstairs. <sighs> Up the stairs. Haven't you heard of knocking, you ungrateful drones? You two can leave. So you're him, are you? I could say that. Oh well, sorry about the sheets. I'll get them dry cleaned. Keep them. So you're gonna tell me what's going on, or do I have to hear some bullshit story from a fairy tale character that shouldn't exist? What do you think's going on? I think that I've probably OD'd and gone straight to hell for not making a contribution to society. Not quite. But you do have some good shit lying around. Want some? Sorry. I'm trying to cut back. Your hallucinations are getting to me. Oh, we're real. Don't worry about that. And no, you won't wake up at the end of this back in bed. What do you want from me? We've already taken what we need, Lewis. You've fulfilled your purpose. What have you taken from me except my expensive narcotics? Freedom. Freedom? See, that's what I despise about you actuals. You take for granted the pleasures of freedom. If you wanted, you could go down to your local 7-Eleven and buy some more crack. Or beat your girlfriend because she's screwing your best mate. But our fates have been predetermined, Lewis. I'm going to stalk Little Red and be butchered. I'm going to kill, I'm going to finally kill three little shit pigs. The world's your oyster and I've come for what's yours. Why don't you let me go? You've got your freedom. Freedom. Never tasted so good. Sex, drugs and liberty. But I want more. That's why I've convinced the others to join me. So that way we can take our freedom 
and everyone else's. So you're starting a fictional revolution? Think of it more as fate. It was meant to be. And your purpose has been fulfilled. I'm sorry I can't risk you squealing to others about our arrival. I'm planning on making this a long stay. What the hell is that? Ah, Alice. I see you finally come and joined our party. Let's go, Lewis. I'll make you my puppy, what? bitch! What? Ah! Only an actual can destroy the portal, Lewis. You're dead. Isn't that what was meant to happen? I, I just assumed that. Oh, poor pathetic Lewis. Were you even listening to her? You destroyed the portal, which means we can't go back in and out of this world. She played you like a deck of cards. So what now? Guess. Well, this is normally it's a part of the narrative where the bad guy gets exactly what's coming to him. That's what I love about the real world. The bad guy can actually win. <laughs> This isn't much of a happy ending for you, is it, Lewis? Are you gonna tell me how you got here, at least? Well, the prophecy foretold of an actual with the blood of Dodgson running through his veins. Said he'd create a pathway to the real world. Because of his ideals and dreams of bettering the world he lived in. And I'm gonna change the world with your help. What? Through my writing? See, we're not that different, Lewis. Your life's been predetermined as well. But I'm gonna change mine. <laughs> Fuck! Who's afraid of the big bad? Not him. <laughs> Talk about a hard day at the office. <laughs> Thanks for setting me free. No problem. But I didn't set you free. Yeah, I know. Twiddle dumb shit did. But, you know what? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Plus, you've got some unfinished business. Where'd you get these? Oh, well, you were having your little dress up party with Wolfie and Alice. I decided to collect a few pages as insurance. So is that it now? No more pixies, no more dwarfs, no more shit that doesn't exist. Pretty much. Alice went a big kill frenzy out there. Chainsaw Maniac still at large. What's the world coming to? Hey, Lewis. 